Welcome back everyone. Depending on the time you're watching this, we are now within 24 hours of the Western Conference Finals, and we should definitely be in for a good one too. I know pretty much everyone here are Laker fans, but really take the time to enjoy the pure basketball that will be played here. This series will include some of the best and most fundamental players in the entire league. I for one am definitely looking forward to it, and I know many of you guys are too. In my opinion, we are getting a matchup made in heaven between the Lakers and Nuggets. You want star power? They got plenty of it. Between LeBron, Anthony Davis, Nikola Jokic, and even Jamal Murray, they can all go off for a huge performance on any given night. And then you want depth? Well, that is exactly what you're getting here. The Lakers and Nuggets are arguably the two deepest teams in the entire Western Conference, and maybe even the entire league. No matter what way you want to look at it, they are both very well put together teams. Though even the best of teams can have a weakness, and in today's video, we are going to go over how each team should and likely will look to exploit each other. And I know I'm a bit biased here, but I truly believe the Lakers are a dangerous matchup for the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets are the number one seed after all, and they rightfully should be viewed as the favorites here, though that is not to say they cannot be defeated. In fact, the Lakers are in many ways built perfectly to exploit them. And again, we are going to talk about how and why in today's video. Before we do that though, I would like to invite all of you to join our NBA Discord. If you enjoy having NBA or Laker related discussion, being updated on NBA news, or chatting with other NBA fans during live games, then I guarantee you would enjoy it. There will be a link to check it out both on the screen and in the video description down below. Or if you don't have Discord, then you can also follow me on Twitter to hear my thoughts during live games too. That link will be in the description down below as well. Without further ado though, let's dive right into it and we'll begin by reviewing an exploit that Denver will likely look to take advantage of, with that being the Lakers spacing within their starting lineup. I know we've talked about this before, but it continues to be a theme for their opponent's game plan, and more than anyone, Jared Vanderbilt is the usual target. He is kind of the odd man out within their offense, not that they forget about him, but more so that they don't know what to do with him. They tried making him a corner 3 point shooter to give Anthony Davis more room around the rim, but that's not been working out lately. He shot okay during round 1 at around 30%, but that dipped all the way down to 18% during round 2. And simply put, that won't cut it. They need him to be around 30 to 25% at the bare minimum for their opponent to respect him, which the Golden State Warriors did not do. I mean, I think we all know about Vanderbilt's value on defense, which is reason enough to give him playing time, but his shooting ability can definitely be taken advantage of. And it's not only him either, even LeBron has been exploited in this area lately too. He definitely did improve during the final games of round 2, but he was awful during round 1, and really throughout a majority of the regular season, he shot only 19% from 3 against Memphis, and that won't cut it either. Now, he thankfully does not get left completely wide open like Vanderbilt does, even when he's not shooting well, but more and more defenders are beginning to sag off LeBron, and with him actually playing off the ball more lately, that can be detrimental to their offense. I would look for the Nuggets to continue that theme for both Vanderbilt and LeBron moving forward, and the Lakers will again have to find ways to overcome it. But now moving on to an exploit for the Denver Nuggets, and in my opinion, the number one exploit for them is to put Nikola Jokic in pick and roll defense, and hopefully including Jamal Murray with him as the frontline defender. Neither of them are known for their defense, and the way to attack Jokic has always been through the pick and roll game. He is not particularly quick, nor is he athletic enough to defend a well refined pick and roll offense. And that is without a doubt what the Lakers have. Between D'Angelo Russell, LeBron, and even Austin Reeves, they have three tremendous pick and roll ball handlers. And then we all know about Anthony Davis when it comes to being the pick and roll roller. I mean, the guy is arguably the best pick and roll lob target of all time, and he really does everything perfectly within the pick and roll game. We often tend to overlook the parts that don't involve him scoring the ball, but AD is very good at getting in pick and roll positioning, his timing is impeccable, and then he is nearly impossible to miss with that massive wingspan of his, really making him the perfect pick and roll partner. We have watched him continually take advantage of Jokic over the years by doing this, and I imagine they'll continue in the conference finals. 
In addition to that though, the Lakers can get Jamal Murray involved here too. With Murray likely to be defending D'Lo, they can get both him and Jokic involved within the same play. Again, neither of them are great defenders. Targeting them on defense will require them to exert energy, which will eventually wear them down. And if they can do it to Steph Curry, the arguably most well-conditioned player in the entire NBA, then they can definitely do it to Murray and Jokic. Now it might not show in games 1 or 2, but by games 4 or 5, I would be willing to bet that it will take a toll on them, or at least if the Lakers take advantage of it anyways. Moving on though, another exploit for Denver will be getting Aaron Gordon in foul trouble. He is quite literally the most important defender on their entire team, because without him, they have nobody to defend LeBron with. Not only that though, but Aaron Gordon hopes to make up for what Jokic cannot do on defense. Unlike Jokic, Aaron Gordon is a great help defender, and he even provides some rim protection too. I don't think they need to make him outright foul out of the game, but getting him in early foul trouble would be beneficial here, and it's something that Gordon has had trouble with before too. I've mentioned this before, but in the three playoff games that Denver has gotten beat in so far, Aaron Gordon has committed three or more fouls, and one of them involved him outright fouling out. I really don't want LeBron to be trying to do this, as that can involve running too many isolation plays through him, but it definitely would benefit them to get a few early foul calls on Gordon, and they can do that by simply being aggressive. Like I referred to before, Gordon plays the role of a help defender quite well within the Nuggets defense, and especially when Jokic gets beat during a pick and roll play. Getting the hint here? Two of the biggest ways to exploit the Nuggets are directly intertwined. If you have a good pick and roll offense, that is one of the best ways to take advantage of them. Now I'm not saying it will be easy to do, but it's one of, if not the only glaring weakness they have. The Nuggets are deep, have great perimeter defenders with Caldwell Pope and Bruce Brown, and then are a pretty good rebounding team too. It's really more of a compliment than anything, but if I were the Lakers, I would make it a point of emphasis to attack their pick and roll defense. That will take advantage of Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, and then put Aaron Gordon in a bad situation more often than not. Anyways, that would be my plan to attack their defense, though there's not much you can do to stop the Nuggets offense when they're clicking. In fact, the only thing you can do is not overcommit to Jokic or Murray. I know it can be difficult watching them absolutely torch your team at times, but you cannot afford to overcommit to them. They have plenty of players who can hurt you if you do that, and that's really what they want you to do too. Again, there is no perfect way to counter a mastermind like Nikola Jokic on offense, and I hope they realize that too, because far too often, the Lakers tend to overcommit to star players. I mean, you obviously want to make it difficult on them, but they tend to go a bit too far at times which can be shown by the way they defended Steph Curry throughout the early parts of round 2. To wrap everything up here though, we are in store for a very fun Western Conference Finals. Both the Lakers and Nuggets are incredibly well put together teams, and the interesting part will be how they look to exploit each other. With all of that being said though, what do you guys think? What do you believe are the primary ways for each team to go after each other? Comment your thoughts down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.